What's your favorite meal to eat on the trail? Grilled cheese sandwiches and tomato soup. This is really dumb. People are going to hate me for this, but uh, Mountain House Chili Mac. Okay, so uh, trivia, I have no taste buds. I cannot taste, so I am not a foodie or a meal guy. I just will eat granola bars and yogurt, piece of fruit, Mountain House, it doesn't matter. Carne asada is my absolute favorite. There's a great place down in Phoenix, and that's where we like to get it from. And every time we're in the area, we got to swing in and take that on the next trip. My favorite meal to eat on the trail. I, okay, I have two. So steak is an obvious for us. We eat that quite often, <laughs> or at least once a week for sure. But my favorite would be chili. I'm a classic chili, sour cream, Frito chips. Ooh, my favorite meal to eat on the trail would have to be some sort of taco. Um, I do a lot of pork tenderloin tacos or steak tacos. They're just quick and easy, and you can spice them up or, you know, unspice, I don't know what the word is, unspice it. <laughs> what is your favorite kind of trail to drive on? I like high-speed dirt roads. I, I really like the, the treks in the Sierras that are a mix of uh, the granite boulders and a dirt track. I would say a good fast, semi-fast two-track through, there were some awesome ones through Nevada, and there's like a little bit of sand on top, and it's just a smooth, like, whoopy kind of trail, and you go around hills and up mountains. And... I don't like super rocky. Like, if it's just rocky the whole time and you're just jostled, not my favorite. So I do like a smoother, but I do like some technical. If it's smooth the whole way, then it's kind of boring. So I do like a little bit of a technical in between there, for sure. Favorite type of trail? I like one that has a mix of terrain. You know, a, a bit of hardcore from time to time, maybe a bit of sand, you know, just, just a good mix. The Mojave Road's probably one of my favorite ones because it kind of hits all those marks. Uh, dude, it's changed a lot. Um, I like a little bit of technical along with like maybe not so much technical, but I do like to have some fun on the trail. What's the worst experience you've had on the trail? We've never had anything break down, so... I don't know if I've really ever had a worst experience. It has to do with either being wet or cold, because I hate being cold. And then you add a lot of rain or snow to that, and it just compounds it for me. So I really mentally have to like, oh, really like work through it. Uh, snapping my transfer case. Yeah, not fun. I would say probably the worst experience that I had was on the side of a, of a mountain in Death Valley. It was actually Lippincott Road. We had a, a trailer that, that broke a uh, spindle. And so we had traffic in front of us and traffic behind us, and we were just trying to scramble, and so we like patched it all together and spent like two hours trying to get this thing moved to a safe spot. So that was, that was probably one of the more interesting times that we had. Oh boy, probably sliding down ice in Moab towards a cliff that was probably, I'm sure it was 10,000 feet tall. There were birds flying under us and uh, didn't know if the Land Cruiser was going to stop or not. Being held at gunpoint. of gear has been the best investment you've made? Best piece of gears so far has been a Toyota. Forerunner. People ask me all the time, like, would you do it differently? Would you go with a different vehicle? What about a diesel this or diesel that? You know what? This thing has been hardcore. It has been reliable. You know, we're at, the point, we're at 135,000 miles now, and we've gotten into some maintenance things that we're doing, but you know what? It's never left us stranded, and it keeps doing what we need it to do. A uh, piece of gear that's the best investment would be the 80 series Land Cruiser solid axle fully locked and uh, pretty much bulletproof until you blow up the engine at 240,000 miles. So I'd probably count the Snowmaster as my favorite gear because it regulates the temperature the entire time. We've not had any problems with it and I know all my food is safe and ready for us to eat. A really good sleeping bag. Um, I love the Nemo. I think it's the Nemo Cannon and it's I want to say 20 or 40 below. I can't remember off the top of my head. That and a really good pillow. Because <laughs> if I sleep good at night, I'm, I'm good to go. I can, like, do anything. Uh, icon. Icon suspension. Uh, it's just been the best. It's, it's literally, like, it's your comfort. So, yeah, suspension. And then, last question, why overlay? For me, a lot of it had to do with the kids. Clay and I loved being outside a lot, and he grew up doing a lot of backpacking. And for me, it's definitely the adventure part of it. I'm not a big hiker, I'm not a big runner. <laughs> if I can drive somewhere, I will drive there. 
And so for me to be able to combine those components, and I love travel, and I love being in the culture, and I love being off the beaten path. So I don't like being in the really real tourist destination. So for me, it was a combination of all that. I get to drive, I get to be in, like, in the culture, out with the people, um, talking to locals, finding out what are the good places to go and see and do, and I don't have to hike anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I just do what I do. I love camping. I love traveling. I love willing. Call it whatever you want. Um, but the reason why we're out here is just for an incredible experience as a family. We only have one life to live, and we do what we do for two reasons. We want to we want to get out there and explore together, and we want to inspire people to do the same so that people get away from the social media and their phones, and they're actually looking at each other in the eye and having real conversations. I think sometimes, uh, all the time, that's really what we need as a society is people who actually interact with each other and realize that while opinions may differ, when you're sitting around a campfire, you know that these people are real and they have reasons for their own beliefs and you can respect that as opposed to something that's just on a phone or a tablet. I just love being outside and I love getting to travel and experience culture along with um, getting to see new things and so for me overlanding is about being with my family, it's about experiencing new people and how they want to live their lives and it's also about getting out and getting away sometimes and just getting to have your alone time and see the sights and experience um, the world around us for sure. Because it is one of the most unique ways to experience the world at your own pace through the eyes in the way that you want to see it. Like I've, I've always grown up doing this type of stuff. I've just never had the ability to do it further. You know, and so like being able to have an actual forward my vehicle and something I can like sleep in or like on and like go crazy places and take awesome photographs, that's what appeals to me. And I think it's fun. Um, and it's just a good time, man. It's a good time to get outside and just have some fun. Uh, why overlanding? Because adventure is absolutely necessary and that means necessary for everybody. It doesn't matter what your level of experience or the type of overlanding you want to do. You don't need all the fancy kit. You can get it if you want to, but adventure is absolutely necessary to truly live, not just be alive.